Hi everyone, welcome to Vocal Academy. See this problem, here how to find average power observed by each Paz element. So here I am not using Laplace ensembles. So without your Laplace ensembles, I am going to solve this problem. So here one voltage source and uh, four Paz elements are there. So two resistors, one inductor and one capacitor. Voltage source is 8 into cos of 2t minus 40 degrees volts. So first of all convert this circuit into the frequency domain. That is, for resistor, the impedance equal to R only. For capacitor, the impedance is 1 by SC. For inductor, the impedance is SL. But we know that S means J omega. So it becomes 1 by J omega C it becomes J omega L. R is R only, no change. So keep 1 ohm, 2 ohm as this. Now for 3 ohms, it can be written as J into omega means 2 pi f. Our omega value is given as directly, it is T. So omega T plus phase. So omega is 2, substitute here. So ZL equal to J omega L. Omega is already given, that is 2. So 2J and L is 3, it becomes 6j. So in the place of 3, 3 Henry, take 6j Henry. Now in the place of capacitor, it is 1 by j omega c. Becomes 1 by j into omega is given 2 and c is 0 0.25 nothing but 1 by 4. 2 1s, 2 2s. Becomes 2 by j, take rf, j by j, it becomes j square thing but minus. So minus 2j. So it can be written as minus 2j. Now all passive elements are in frequency domain. Now source is here amplitude is 8 and phase angle is minus 40. Now we can easily find average power. So for that we need currents in these two branches. So according to average power in inductor and capacitor, average power is equal to zero. So we need to find the average power only in these two resistors. So for in this branch, let us assume there is current I. So it is about source current. So if you want to find source current, so find the overall impedance. So according to Ohm's law, we know that V equal to IR. So V by R, here R means overall impedance, take Z, thus equal to I. So source voltage is given, that is this is, and Z is, we are going to find, that is overall impedance. By substitution that we will get current I. Here these two branches are in parallel. So first of all, this branch make a single impedance. So resistor and capacitor impedance are in series. We have 2 ohms impedance is there, here minus 2J impedance is there. So for this branch, the impedance is 2 minus 2J ohms. Now this branch and this branch are parallel, that is 6j impedance in parallel with 2 minus 2j ohms and this overall will be in series with 1 ohm resistor. It gives overall impedance. So current I is equal to, so V is 8 with phase angle minus 40 and this value becomes 6j into 2 minus 2j upon sum of these two terms that is 6j plus 2 minus 2j because these two are parallel this resistance is this impedance is this is equivalent this is the equivalent impedance for this two parallel plus 1 here I am going to use the calculator for getting the value of current I in phase are form that is 1.6828 with phase angle minus 25.38. This is the current type passing through 1 ohm resistor. So in this average power, that is average power equal to I square by 2 into R. I means magnitude, this is the magnitude that is 
by 2. So for this apply whole square, this is i square is there, it or is 1 ohm. So by using calculator by simplifying this, we will get 1.4159 watts. This is the average power in resistor 1 ohm. But in inductor and capacitor, average power is 0. So for capacitor, average power is 0. For inductor, is average power is 0. In any circuit, average power is 0 because this power is not pure. Average power is always pure value, means pure real number. Next, how to find average power in 2 ohm resistor? Here, one component is there. So in these two components are 0. So this component average power, we already got. Now we need to find average power in 2 ohm resistor. So for these two branches, this is the current as a source. And this current was split into two branches. Now I am going to find current in this branch. So let's consider this is I1 current. So according to current division rule, I1 current I1 in this branch. So take the first opposite branch impedance that is 6J by total impedance that is 6J plus 2 ohms plus minus 2J into source current. This is the source current that is 1.6828 with phase angle minus 25.38 because this current was actually the source at this point and divided into two current paths means two branches are there this is in the completely complex number form so apply magnitude here we will get magnitude of this so this i1 equal to 2.258 this is the current i1 which was passing through this resistor. So by the character we got this value. Now according to average for formula, apply this formula here, we will get I1 square by 2 into this resistor that is 2, thus we equal to I1 that is we got 2.258 whole square by 2 into 2, 2 to cancel, so it becomes 5.097 watts. So this is the average power in the 2 ohm resistor and this is the average power in 1 ohm resistor. And this is the process of calculating average power in each component. So in capacitor and inductor always average power is 0 because it is a pure value, real number. So and this is the process of simplification. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.